I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, I don't know if the microphone is picking that up at all. That's what's going on outside right now. All right, so let's look at the radar. This is the Boeing. I know, why not? Why am I not outside? Because I'm not. I don't want to get soaked. All right, so it's... It's definitely approaching Mineola now. It just looks like a lot of heavy rain. I'm not seeing a lot of wind gusts on here anymore. All right, LaGuardia had a 46 mile an hour wind gusts. Unless they're just taking a while to register. You can see that there's like a little Boeing there, actually over in Nassau County. You can see that. And there you go, that was it. So you got to hear it at least, maybe not see it, but at least you got to hear it. Um, but yeah, no lightning, just a gusty shower. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all. That's all that it went, that it was. At least that you got to hear it. What it sounded like here. Let's get to some of these observations here. You see any strong winds being reported on any of these stations? I don't really don't. But that was it. There's a seven. There's one that looks like it's got a pretty strong wind gust of 26. So we're kind of looking at the stations right now. I'm just going to go to the regular station plot. Let's see if we can get some more information on wind gusts here. And the warning just expired, or it should have expired now. Um, let's... We're kind of like now casting this here. Uh, go back to the National Weather Service site. See, we're still under that warning or it just expired. Let's see. Severe thunderstorm warning. All right. Now, uh, this, now it goes till 10.30 p.m. So severe thunderstorm warning extended to 10.30. And just move through here. So... We can actually go a little further east now. Let's take a look at East Meadow here and see if it's uh, arrived there. Yeah, you can see it has not started raining. This is East Meadow. It should be there very shortly. All right, we do have a problem with this site. It's And it's the site that's causing this. It's actually not my computer. Oh, yeah, the wind is starting to hit. It. Yep, there it goes. So it's just arriving in East Meadow now. You can see how we're just going to have to keep doing this. Yep, there it goes. Starting to rain there. So now it's in East Meadow. You can see some heavy rain there. No lightning. It's just a gusty shower, pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on right there, right now. So it's moving into Suffolk. It's moving into the central part of Nassau County right now. Yeah, it's hitting that area right now. So it's a gusty shower, but nothing really... Nothing really that remarkable. We're watching this on the 511 New York camera here, traffic camera. You can see just some heavy rain and some, some gusty winds with it, but nothing really dramatically gusty. Um... So it's probably going to be in Levittown shortly. It hasn't reached Levittown yet, but it will be there shortly. It's approaching Levittown right now. This is a pretty good view, actually. Be able to track this thing as it moves east. Hasn't hit Levittown yet. Yeah, it's starting to right now. There it is. I'm starting to see it. So, yeah, it's moving at about 55 to 70 miles an hour. It's moving pretty quickly. So that's why if you're in Suffolk County right now, be prepared for this. 
But it's just going to be a gusty downpour. I don't see there's not much lightning with it. It's just a gusty downpour, and the winds don't seem to be that much bad. I knew the line would weaken when it got to Long Island, and I'm not at all surprised. And it didn't completely dissipate, but um, was it a, what I call what we just had a severe thunderstorm? Uh, uh, I'm not so sure I would call it that. Just a gusty shower. Yeah, you can see the rain coming down now. But you don't see the camera moving a dr like a lot, you know. You don't see any power flashes or anything that would indicate damaging winds at this point. So, I think we can wrap this up shortly. So, um, let's see if we can get some more observations here. But uh, I don't see anything... Any dramatic wind gusts here are at 25 miles. That's nothing that really crazy. So the line is definitely losing its punch. Uh, but the rain part of it is not. So on the radar, it still looks impressive. Um, and uh, let's uh, go to this here. Refresh this here. Should get the latest here and see. Yeah, the rain part is, in, is impressive. You still see a little bit of impressive looking, uh, almost like a little curl there. Uh, we'll have to see if anything happens at that. It's a little bit of a curl there, but other than that, it looks like the, the purple parts of it, it's just heavy rain, basically. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of wind with this, so um, we can look at the power outage situation right now. Let's see if there are any if this line actually has caused any power outages. Obviously, just entered our area. It says less than five, so aren't many power outages at all uh, so far being reported with this. So uh, it looks like right now, unless it re-intensifies, I don't think this line is going to be much to speak of on Long Island. Uh, but if you were in New Jersey, um, let's see, PSCG in New Jersey, let's see. I need the PSCG New Jersey outage map. Let's see if we can uh, get that PSCG New Jersey outage map and see if... Uh, they were impacted by this, and of course JCP and L2. All right, there are 6,921 power outages in New Jersey right now. Six, well, 6,921 people without power right now. Um, most of those, they're just small scattered outages. I don't see any really large outages. Um, do Con Edison power outage map as well. Let's see if there are any. Only 51. All right, there are 2,960 customers out of power with Con Ed. Hardly any in Queens. A few small ones. A few in Staten Island. The line was a little stronger there. And there's some up in, the, in Westchester. Oh, yeah, there are actually some over here. There's one actually over here, uh, an outage actually up in Riverdale. So, yeah, this area got hit hard. Yeah, here, Yonkers. Partial outage, it says. 755 customers out of service on this outage here that's in the purple. So, yeah, we have some outages up in Westchester where the, where the storms were stronger. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll, we'll wait a little bit and see if PSG updates their outage. Uh, this was at 9.45 p.m., so... Um, we don't see anything, and judging by what just hit us, I mean, it was just a heavy rain. I didn't really see much wind showing up here on the, the uh, wind readings here. Um, yeah, not a lot of wind showing up here at all on these wind observations here. Um, not really a lot of wind, so it would be the wind that would cause the damage. Uh, Hofstra. 59 gusting to 23. I mean, that's not damaging winds at all. That's not damaging winds. Um, I don't see any They're really showing up here. So you can see, I think once the line got to the city, it kind of fizzled a little bit. And at least the wind part of it, at least the wind part of it fizzled. Um, but uh, we'll see if these outage numbers get like really high. I'll provide another update. But other than that, I don't really see anything going on. Uh, let's see if the MTA services are affected by this. MTA services. Uh, I don't think they are, but we can actually see if they are. 
affected at all on the trains, and it does not look like it. So, uh, for the most part, I think we dodged the bullet here. I don't think we have, um, at least east, because again, once it hit that cooler air, I'm thinking it probably fizzled out, uh, and that's probably what's what's happened. So, um, you can see here, uh, this is your, um, so if there are any other developments, I'll update you. But other than that, it's just heavy rain and maybe a few wind gusts up to like 30 miles an hour. But I think the severe part of it is they still haven't taken away the warning yet, though. So they still got the warning just to be safe, I guess. But, you know, uh, it looks like there's a strong part now over the south shore and the north shore. It looks like it's split up into that. Let's see if we can... Look at some cameras from Massapequa Park, our favorite area. Let's see. It's just raining. I don't see any really strong winds or anything like that. No, I don't see any strong winds. It's just raining. Let's, uh, I don't see any really strong winds. We'll go a little further east now. It's just like a driving rain type of deal. That's that's pretty much what it is. So I think that'll wrap it up uh, on this uh, severe weather event. Again, I guess most of it was mostly north and west of our area because that's where it was warmer. Once these storms hit the marine air, they are going to be weakening because it's much cooler over Long Island. You know. Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, if I have any more information, if anything, if there are any more developments, we'll, I'll uh, post another video. But other than that, uh, stay tuned to the next weather update tomorrow.